For beautiful sunset photos, Panasonic has incorporated HLG Photo. This uses the HDR function of your television set to give you extra dynamic range from your photos. Let me get you into the menus and show you how to set it up. So as you can see in this photo, we have the bright sun here, we've got the bright sky and lots of shadow areas. So we're gonna end up with a very mixed exposure. With our HLG Photo function, it's in the top tab. It's on the first page, HLG Photo. You have two options. You can either have a 4K HLG Photo or you can have an 8K HLG Photo. Since this is the S1R, we're gonna do the 8K function. Now you can see that our histogram has changed. It's more compressed. And when we take the photo, it's gonna embed metadata that your television set can recognize and stretch that file out to give you an even more dynamic image. Now that we've taken an HLG photo, let's go ahead and go inside and see how it looks like on our TV. Now that we've shot some HLG photos, let's walk through how you'll play them back. Now, until your smartphone or tablet or computer can recognize these files, it's important to note you're gonna to have to use a television set. And really only today, Panasonic offers a TV that can natively read them through the USB port. So most likely your HDR television will be connected through HDMI from the camera to the monitor. And then the camera will communicate to the monitor or television whether or not it needs to turn HLG off and on. So as you can see right now, we're using a production monitor. This isn't a traditional television because it tells us more information about the file. So the photo we're watching right now is a standard dynamic range photo. That's what that Rec. 709 means. When I switch to an HDR photo, you can see it's immediately turned on Rec. 2100, HLG, BT 2020. And what you should notice right now is there's a lot more highlight information here and a much more dynamic looking photograph. And that's the benefit of shooting HLG in an S-series camera.